Hey lovelies, welcome back to the channel. So if you are new here, my name is Bridget and on this channel I do natural hair videos. I also do protective hairstyle videos for my daughter. This is my daughter Jasmine and she's two years old and I do amazing protective hairstyle for kids. So consider subscribing if you are not yet subscribed to this channel and you are going to be loving it here. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing this super cute protective hairstyle. No rubber bands, no uh, coiler, no hot water. Um, yeah, so firstly, uh, her hair is washed. And then I went ahead with that um, that hair grease. If you have not watched the video um, of the hair grease, I made that hair grease purposely for Jasmine's hair because she had uh, some ball patches at the back of her hair. So I I did a combination of four hair grease and I have the video on my channel and I'll also be leaving it uh, at the description box down below. So I applied it on her hair and I massaged her hair very well, you know, to make sure all the goodness penetrate into her hair, into her scalp especially. Uh, which stimulates hair growth and i also went in with the talia wajit uh, apple and aloe vera conditioner that conditioner is a go-to product on this channel i think i started using that conditioner like uh, in, like three weeks ago yeah like three weeks weeks ago and i really really love this conditioner it is really super moisturizing and it is also lightweighted and it doesn't leave residue on her hair so i went I, then i went in with uh, almond oil was it almond yeah almond oil just to seal in the moisture and this is the hair extension i'll be using for this start today guys i buy all my extension at my local beauty supply store here in sweden i don't order any uh, extension online because if i order an extension online it takes forever to come from aliexpress and you know because of this coronavirus guys it will take like maybe one or two months and here in sweden you have to pay a lot of tax and custom duties when you order out of the european union so when most of my subscribers ask me where i order, I order my uh, uh, my accessories or my or the uh, extension i use for jasmine i always tell them i do not order them online i just get them from my local beauty supply store or I, I improvise yeah then i'll go in with this blueberry control paste this blueberry control paste i always use, use it on this channel if you are new to this channel i always use blueberry control paste you know to part the to part jasmine's hair since her hair is 4c and it is kinky and i really i really really love this blueberry control paste and you can also use any hair um what do they call it any hair um edge control yeah any edge control you can also use it for this style and this is the first method i'll be using you know i just grab the hair and as you can see i i cut the extension into two because it was really long so i just grab the hair and i use the extension to to wrap around the hair i think this is really easy if you if you are new to braiding and yeah braiding and all that stuff i think this method is super easy you just grab the hair and then you use the extension to just wrap around the hair that is really perfect and as you can see I, as you can see i did not use any rubber band or uh yeah but the second method i'll be showing you you can use a thread i'll be showing you the second method for this because since as jasmine's hair is short and i i know most of my subscribers uh have kids with short hair so i really think that this method are are really you know essential or are really necessary this part are really necessary for the video because i think that is why most people subscribe to my channel because they have kids with very short hair so i always make sure that i show all the details on how you can grip hair especially for new moms who are new into the into the business of you know braiding so and then after i braid the hair i just take a little bit of extension and i just tie it at the end i always i and i make sure i tie it where jasmine's hair ends as you can see where her hair ends i just tie it and you have to tie it properly i tied it like like six times guys and i i in fact i tied it so well because if you do not tie it then it is going to slip off and maybe in about two days or even the very day you are going to notice that the the, the hair will start to unravel so make sure you tie it very well
guys and guys if your baby's hair is really short or shorter than jasmine's hair i recommend you use a thread you know to just wrap tie the hair you know into a small bun that is that that is if you do not want to use a rubber bands because as for me i decided not to use rubber bands frequently on, on jasmine's hair because i just think that they damage her hair so i'm getting rid of rubber bands like tying rubber bands using rubber bands to to make a bun on her hair or something so i i recommend you use a thread you know to just make the hair to be in a small bun like this and then you just use extension to tie around the hair i think this method is really nice if you do not want to use a rubber band hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust yeah no i don't want to waste what's left and on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highways till my shadow turns to sun rays and on And after I finished braiding this section, I realized that the, the extension was getting tangled up a little bit. So I just put a little bit of water and I realized the extension was coming back to life. Then I I, I thought of, um, you know, when I, was, when I was back home, we used to braid the kids' hair with this kind of extension. And when they are acting up or <laughs> when they are getting tangled, we just uh, put the extension into some cold water not hot water cold water you know and after which I, I just use a towel to squeeze out all the extra water and guys this this is really really cool because if you do this the extension will just i don't know but it will just um i don't know but it, it will make it very easy for you to maybe to pull out the extension as you can see this is the one uh, which is dry and this is the one which is wet and the difference is really clear just put it in, into water and then soak out the extra water and as you can see i just pull it out so easily and guys this is really a, t a tip that will help you a lot and i, I regret why i didn't why i didn't think of the why i didn't uh, think of this earlier so but that's okay i've not really gone far with the hair and i can just sort it out so yeah that is what i did and again in today's video i'm going to be showing you all how you can do a, a, a square pattern yeah last week i showed you all how to do a triangular pattern is it correct a triangular pattern <laughs> or a triangle pattern no i don't know but yeah today i'm going to be showing you how to do this square pattern so what you need to do is just to first of all make a a, a rectangle a rectangle on her hair as you can see what i did you just part her hair in a rectangular form and then you just yeah you just do it you just make some small squares and this is really really this, this pattern technique is really it's really really nice for braids and for twists and for any other style which entails you braiding your daughter's hair or yeah so I'll be showing you all what I did and how it turned out in the video.
And after I finished braiding the hair, guys, I just put the hair into two ponytails and I used a lot of water, you know, just to tame the hair. I used to I use water before and now I'm also applying more water. I just believe water is really it's really good for this hair. I think even to maintain the hair throughout the week, just put a lot of water like not like a lot but just spray some water on the hair and you are good to go. Spray some water and then you just apply a little bit of hair oil and or hair grease. It is I think this is really it's really good to to keep like to maintain the style and then I just went in you know to shape it up it was really long so I just use this scissor to shape the hair and just do whatever you want just play around with the hair in whichever way you want it to be to me this is what I think is good for Jasmine and yeah and guys this is this this edge control I got it from a beauty supply store um the edge controls <laughs> on the S control on the edge control it says that it is super hold it is strong hold but this is the first time I'm trying this edge control so I don't really know maybe in the next video I'm going to be telling you all how it turned out so yeah thank you all for watching and see you in our next video have a blessed day bye I'll see the star come light, the star come light, the star come light.